Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are going to start today coordinate geometry and in this class coordinate geometry will start from a straight line but you have uh, you are aware about the coordinate geometry since you have studied in class 9th about the Cartesian system and in class 10th about the distance formula, section formula and to find area of triangle etc. So you are well aware about this uh, chapter but uh, before starting a straight line I would like to give you a review on um, what you have studied in class 10 so that it will be easier to understand this topic. So let us uh, write the review of what you have learned in class 11th. So a review of class 11th, class 10 in which you have learned that in a Cartesian system there are points and points as coordinate and the coordinates are given like here this is x axis x dash this is y axis and y dash you know and this one is called origin this one is called x axis or abscissa this is called y axis or ordinate you know this one is called first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant and uh, also the if there is any point P, say coordinate is x comma y then this is a parallel distance along y axis is y coordinate and parallel distance along x axis is called x coordinate so uh, you know all these things that this is a x coordinate and this will represent the y coordinate as well so the distance along x axis and y axis will represent the x coordinate and y coordinate respectively now uh, I would like to tell you the distance from origin you know that what is the distance of any point from origin so the distance from uh, of any point from origin can be calculated by using this formula that is what uh, formula is under root x square plus y square so distance of a point starting from here only distance of a point with coordinate p x y from origin from origin you know that is op which is equal to under root x square plus y square also if p and q are two points and distance between them you have to calculate then you can calculate it by using formula similarly distance between two points distance between two points two points that is p x1 y1 and q x2 y2 is given by distance between two points can is given by pq and that is what under root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square in fact difference of x coordinate whole square difference of y coordinate whole square so that can be calculated also you are aware about the section formula and in section formula uh, it is given that when a points divide the line segment joining two points line segment divided joining two points say p x1 y1 and q x2 y2 and r be any point which will divide r which has coordinate x y which will divide pq in ratio m is to n internally in ratio this is a m part right now and this one is n part then that will be this is internally it is said that internally and externally so if this one is say let me write this and if q is like this this part is m and n respectively then what will happen um, say the distance is m here and n there if i can write it like this distance is m and this distance is n so that will be m and n m and n 
this sensor is in between PQ, so it is said to be that R divides the line segment joining P and Q internally. So if R divides, the first case is that if R divides the line segment line segment joining joining p x1 y1 and q x2 y2 internally internally in ratio m is to n then coordinate of r coordinate of r x comma y is given by is given by what x is equal to x is equal to mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n and y coordinate is given by my2 plus ny1 upon m plus n so these are the two formulas uh, for finding coordinate of x coordinate and y coordinate respectively now when r is an external point like r divides pq externally case 2 first when r is middle point when r is midpoint midpoint means the length of p and m and n are equal that is length of m and n are equal that is r is equidistance from p and q right now so in that case if you put here m and n are equal then what will happen in that case 1 plus 1 will be m plus m is 2m and here m will be taken common so m and m will be cancels out in that case x is equal to x2 plus x1 by 2 and y coordinate is given by y2 plus y1 by 2 because if i'll put in place of n there is an m then m will be taken common and it, that will be cancels out now the third case is that when r divides pq externally when r divides pq the line segment join pq line segment joining p x1 y1 and q x2 y2 q x2 y2 externally then what will happen if they divide externally externally means p and q are in between and r is somewhere away from pq so in that case what will happen this is p this one is q this one is q and this one is r r is lies away from pq so in that case this will be r right so p is this is m this one is n means distance of q r is n right and distance of p to r is m got it so in that case x is equal to x mx2 plus nx1 divided by m minus n x coordinate is given by mx2 minus nx1 divided by m minus n and y coordinate can be written as my2 minus ny1 divided by m minus n so these are few formulas which you can memorize keep in memory and uh, you will be able to learn it now uh, one more formula you have studied about find area of triangle area of triangle uh, to find area of triangle you can where coordinates are given so if coordinates of triangle are given say this is x1 y1 q is x2 y2 and r is x3 y3 then area of triangle is given by if p x1 y1 q x2 y2 and r x3 y3 then area of triangle area of triangle 
area of triangle PQR is given by is given by half area of triangle half into this is a modulus sign x1 y2 minus y1 plus x2 y3 minus y2 plus x3 y1 minus y2 whole modulus so that is the formula in which you can calculate the area of triangle you have also learned that if area of triangle is zero then points are collinear so you remember this uh, if area of triangle pqr is equal to zero then we can say pqr are collinear that is points lie on the same line collinear means point lies on the same line so these are the few things uh, which you have studied in class 10th and uh, definitely you are aware about all these things we will use them but uh, before doing this i would like to solve some question on the basis of this that is the introductory questions and this is the, these are the questions which is given uh, in your book so let us start solving some questions from the given exercise 10.1 of the booklet and um, first question is a draw a quadrilateral in a cartesian plane very basic question draw a quadrilateral quadrilateral in a cartesian plane in a cartesian plane which vertices are which vertices are vertices are minus four five zero seven five minus five and minus four comma minus two also find its area also find its area its area right so in cartesian plane first we have to mark these points and then accordingly you can find the area of collateral so first of all we will mark those points right and uh, here are few points say this is x axis y axis this one is x axis right this one is x dash this one is y axis this one is y dash and this is an origin now we have to mark the points so 0 comma 7 first point is say x minus 4 and y 5 x minus 4 this side and y 5 will be above so here is some point say minus 4 comma 5 right x minus 4 y 5 that is a point say a b is a point x 0 y 7 so it must be here 0 comma 7 x is 0 and y is 7 so this must be a point b here and uh, c is a point x 5 y minus 5 x 5 and y minus 5 x 5 this side and y minus 5 this side so that will be 5 this is point c coordinate is 5 comma minus 5 and uh, d is minus 4 minus 2 x is minus 4 and y is minus 2 so that will be the point minus 4 minus 2 and uh, if you uh, give their name a b c d right so what will happen if you join them they will form a quadrilateral if you join them they will form a quadrilateral and uh, that quadrilateral will be definitely mm, like this slightly like this okay and uh, here these points are this is a point that would be a point which i can do this let me write this and then uh, the third line will be here that will be minus 5 okay and uh, fourth one is this one 
So these are quadrilaterals. We can mark them with the proper on graph, and uh, you can do that with the help of this. Okay. So these are the four points uh, in quadrilateral. I have to find the area of this. So because uh, this is A B C D, say this one is D minus four minus two. Let me write clearly. That is D minus four minus two. So I have to find the area of A B C D, area of quadrilateral. So can we uh, do that by using area of triangle? Yes, we can do that. We can find either area of triangle A B D and B C D. So, or we can find area of triangle A B C and area of triangle A C D. You can choose any one of them. Say area of triangle A B C and area of triangle A B D. I can do that right now. So, area of even anywhere you can divide in two triangle and definitely you can uh, calculate it. So, I can find the area of triangle here now solution is area of quadrilateral quadrilateral a b c d a b c d is nothing else but area of triangle a b c plus area of triangle triangle a c d a c d you know area of triangle is given by the system that is the formula now area of triangle abc area of triangle abc is nothing else but modulus half of modulus half of modulus that is i think here i have already written yes half of modulus and that will be x1 x1 is minus 4 so i can write here minus 4 and y2 minus y3 that is 7 minus minus 5 7 minus minus 5 that is 7 plus 5 right now plus x2 that is 0 into here y3 minus y1 so minus 5 minus 5 and minus 5 and plus x3 that is 5 5 times of y1 minus y2 that is 5 minus 7 so that will be 1 by 2 this is minus 4 into 12 plus 0. 0 multiply by everything is 0 and 5 multiply by minus 2. So that will be 1 by 2. This is 48 minus 48 minus 10 minus 58. That is 58 by 2. 1 by 2 into 58 because out of modulus it will be always positive. So that is 29 a square unit square unit right now so we can do that now area of triangle ACD also area of triangle ACD is what that will be half modulus of again you can do that x1 that is minus 4 minus 4 into minus 4 into minus 5 and minus minus 2 that is plus 2 plus x2 that is 5 into this is minus 2 and that will be minus 5 minus 5 plus x3 x3 is what x3 is minus 4 again minus 4 again so it will be minus 4 again and y1 minus y2 y1 is 5 and y2 is minus 5 so 5 minus minus 5 that is 5 plus 5 modulus is closed now that will come up here uh, 1 by 2 this is minus 3 into minus 4 that is 12 plus this will be a uh, 5 to 7 7 minus 5 is minus 35 so that will be minus 35 minus 35 and this is 5 plus 5 10 10 minus 4 is minus 40. So it will be minus 75 and minus 12. Minus 75 plus 12 is uh, minus 63. So it will be outside modulus. That will be 63. And 63 divided by 2 is 31.5 a square unit. A square unit. Right now. And therefore, area of quadrilateral is 
therefore from first area of quadrilateral is sum of two area of quadrilateral lateral a b c d h what this is 29 plus 31.5 is equal to 60.5 square unit i hope you got it right now so that's all in this uh, question second question now let us solve question number three and question number three is given here that third question is there and third question find the distance and this is the first question so i have to go with the second question now so second question is there the base of equilateral triangle the base of an equilateral triangle equilateral triangle equilateral triangle the base of an equilateral triangle with side 2a triangle with side 2a side 2a lies along y axis lies along y axis y axis such that the midpoint such that the midpoint of the base as at origin midpoint of the base is at origin origin find the vertex of the triangle find the vertex of the triangle vertex of the triangle triangle right so here uh, it is side 2a and uh, base is light as origin base of equilateral triangle with side 2 is lies along y axis so in this one we can have a, this is a cartesian system i can write right now okay now this is x axis this one is x dash this is y axis and this is y dash let's see x y be the third vertex of an equilateral triangle a b is a base and the coordinate of this is 0 comma a and this is 0 comma minus a because they are lies along y axis so x coordinate must be 0 c b somewhere this say c b somewhere we do not know whether this is c here or it will be here or it will be here or here we don't know we can write otherwise uh, by common sense we know that they will definitely lie on x axis and uh, but we don't know so we will write it how we come to know we are just finding it so that is why we are not sure that c lies on here or with that so now since they are equilateral triangle and therefore uh, what will happen um, a b is equal to b c is equal to c a a b is equal to bc is equal to ca and each one is equal to 2a because side is 2a now if i uh, proceed for bc is equal to ac ca bc is equal to ca bc is equal to ca that is c are equidistance from both and in that case uh, bc square is equal to ac square and bc square is can be written as that is using distance formula x minus 0 whole square x minus 0 whole square plus y minus a whole square that is distance from bc square and ac square is also i have not written a square root because i have written a square already and here also this will be x minus 0 whole square plus y plus a whole square so proceeding the same you will be able to write here that is x square plus y square minus 2ay plus a square is equal to x square plus y square plus 2ay plus y square plus a square isn't it so what will happen all of these things uh, are cancels out except these two terms a square a square cancel x square x square cancel y square y square cancel and this 2ay will come this side it will be 4ay is equal to 0 this employee y is equal to 0 so y coordinate is 0 it means the c must lie on x axis this is what i said now uh, you can proceed from anyone that uh, 
BC is also equal to 2A. Since BC is equal to 2A, so again I can apply formula BC is what? BC is X square. You've seen here. BC is X square plus Y square minus 2AY plus A square. This is under root BC and that is equal to 2A. So if I use this Y is equal to 0, then what will happen? Put Y is equal to 0. This employee y0 then this will be under root x square plus a square is equal to 2a so on squaring x square plus a square is equal to 4a square and therefore x square is equal to 3a square and hence x is equal to hence x is equal to plus minus root 3a and therefore points are point or coordinate of third vertex is if I click this therefore the coordinate of third vertex coordinate of third vertex third vertex is 0 plus minus root 3a right now so there would be two points either one of them is this side c will be here and another of them will be here. So equilateral triangle can be made like this or made like this. So there will be two point one H root three comma zero and third H root three A comma zero and zero comma root three A. Sorry, why couldn't it zero now? So I have to write like this. Plus minus root three A comma zero. Why couldn't it zero? X coordinate is plus minus root three A. So you can do like this, uh, this is the second question. Now uh, let us solve third question and uh, what is that, try to understand. The third question which is given in this review for review, third one is find the distance between, find the distance between, the distance between P x1 y1 and Q x2 y2 y2 when first question pq is parallel to y axis pq is parallel to y axis parallel to y axis and second when pq is parallel to x axis pq is parallel to x axis pq is parallel to x axis x axis so here we can draw uh, a point system say this is a cartesian system if i can write like this and this is x axis and this one is y axis this is an origin and p and q are any two points so i can draw a line for pq say this is pq and pq is a line like this I, I can write like this. This is P X1 Y1 and this is Q X2 Y2. So the coordinate of P and Q can be determined by. So if you will plot this graph, you will find it that uh, the distance between X and Y can be determined as what is this? This is a Y2 complete one and this is Y1. This one Y1. So y1 and this one is y2, complete one is y2 and this distance is from here x2 right now and this distance is x1. So we can write this distance will be x2 minus x1 and this distance will be y2 minus y1. So distance, this y2 minus y1 is the distance parallel to y axis and parallel to x axis this is the distance. So that is x2 minus x1. So therefore pq distance between pq distance between pq solution distance of pq parallel to y axis is y2 minus y1 and it can be modulus because it may be x1 y1 is here and y1 x2 x2 y2 is there and distance of parallel to PQ, parallel to X axis 
x axis is x2 minus x1 that will be also modulus because distance is always positive so that will be answer i think so you got it okay now there is a question question number four find the a point on x axis a point on x axis which is equidistance which is equidistance from 7, 6 and 3, 4, 7, 6 and 3, 4. These are the two points, equidistance from points 7, 6 and 3, 4. So any point to write the solution of this, we can write any point lie on y axis, x axis, y coordinate is 0, any point, any point lie on y x, x axis any point lying on x axis has y coordinate 0 y coordinate 0 0 so let k comma 0 be any point any point a k comma 0 be any point on x axis x axis which is equidistance which is equidistance from equidistance from from points points b 7 6 and c 3 comma 4 right now so any point on x axis at a 0 say this is a 0 a comma 0 is a point this one k comma 0 is a point on x axis and uh, it is equidistance from these two points one is 7 comma 6 and third is 7 comma 6 say and third is this one is 3 comma 4 right so these are equidistance 3 comma 4 x3 y4 this is 7 comma 6 so if this point is equidistance from these two say like here without writing cartesian system properly i have written this so don't mind and not necessary to write cartesian system every time c is here and c is 7 comma 6 so these are the points and uh, since distance are same so we can use distance formula here since AB is equal to AC, so using distance formula, we can write here what is that K minus 3 whole square x2 minus x1 whole square plus 0 minus 4 whole square that is equal to again here K minus 7 whole square plus 0 minus 6 whole square. We can write it like this now on a squaring on a squaring what will happen root will be eliminated and this will be k minus 3 whole square plus 4 square is 16 and this is k minus 7 whole square 6 square is 36 so i can write here this will be uh, k minus 3 whole square minus k minus 7 whole square is equal to 36 minus 16 so it will be 20 isn't it and now this will be k times this will be uh, I can write a square minus b square so 1 times a plus b and a minus b let me write here in denominator so that will be a plus b and a minus b so k minus 3 plus k minus 7 right we can do this or k minus 3 minus k plus 7 is equal to 20 this employee this will be 2k minus 10 2k minus 10 and this is k and k cancel 7 minus 3 is 4 is equal to 20 4 5 are 20 and 2k is equal to therefore 2k is equal to 10 plus 5 is 15 and k is equal to 7.5 so co coordinate therefore coordinate of point on x axis point on x axis is 7.5 comma 0 that will be answered i hope you got it
So these are few questions which is on the basis of class 10th and that is uh, I think helpful for revising all those what you have learned in class 10th. Now we will start after the break uh, for uh, those topic which we have to study in class 11th. Till uh, then bye bye. God bless. Keep watching. Thank you.